Good morning, today I'm going to show you how to set up GraphQL API using Firebase functions. Let's begin by creating a new Firebase project running Firebase init. You can get the Firebase command by installing Firebase tools globally. We'll need to toggle the functions, create a new project. I'm going to call it FRB GQL1234. We're going to use JavaScript install the dependencies and open the project in the editor. Inside the functions folder, open index.js, import Firebase admin, const admin equals require Firebase admin. Then we'll need to install express cd functions and uh, install express Apollo server Express and GraphQL. Now import express const express equals require express import Apollo server const Apollo server and GQL to use the GraphQL queries equals require Apollo server express. And now we'll need to initialize our Firebase app. We do it running admin initialize app and we'll need to pass a bunch of options for it to work locally. We'll need to pass the credential and to do this we're gonna get a service key. Go to your project in Firebase console, go to settings, users and permissions, service accounts, press generate new private key, download it. I'm gonna save it in my project functions folder. Save. Now go back to your code. Load the key const service account equals require and then the key that you've just downloaded. Now pass admin credential cert service account as a credential to your initialize app call. We'll also need to pass the database URL. You can copy it from the settings from the Firebase console. Now we can specify the GraphQL types. Const type devs equals GQL. In this example, we're going to serve a list of cat descriptions. So we create a new type, cat. It will contain a name, string, lifespan, also a string, its weight, string, and description, also a string. We also define the type for a query. Cats is an array of type cat. Now we need to define the resolvers. Const resolvers equals query. It needs to return cats. And we define a function that through admin gets the database reference cats. And here we need to create a database. Go back to the console. Click database, create real-time database, for now start it in test mode, enable, and we need to populate it with data. I've prepared a JSON file for you that will be available in the attached GitHub repo. Just follow the link in the description. Import JSON, browse, data JSON, import, and now we have a list of cats. Go back to the code. Now once we have the value, then we get the snapshot and return snapshot value and then we transform it into an array value equals object keys val map key and here we get the value of this field by the key format the document now we create an express application const app equals express const server equals new apollo server we pass type devs and resolvers now we apply the express middleware server apply middleware and here we pass app path root course true and we export our firebase function exports graphql equals functions https on request we will call our app 
Now let's check if it will work locally. Run Firebase serve. Firebase will provide you with the URL, copy it and open in the browser. Now let's try a query. Cats and for each cat we want a name and description. Press play and we get null as a response. I think I know what's going on. Go back to the code and make sure to return the value from the resolver. Let's try it again and now we get the data. Go to the console and deploy your Firebase functions using Firebase Deploy. Once the project is deployed you can go to Firebase console, go to functions and you will see your deployed function here. We can try making a GraphQL request here. Let's pass a query that will equal an object where we need to get cats and for each cat we want name and description. And we get a JSON with cat descriptions. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what else would you like to know about GraphQL or Firebase. And also join my Discord server to pick the topics for the next videos. See you next time.